Do you like beautiful, colorful, and easy to keep reptiles? If so, stay tuned. We've got some eye candy for you. This is Tim from Leap, and today we're gonna to be telling you why we love the carpet chameleon. It's a small, docile, and easy to keep species, but most importantly, it's beautiful. It's for these attributes that we've decided to invest a large amount of space at our Leap Lab to the captive breeding. Carpet chameleons come from Madagascar, where they're found in the central and eastern parts of the country. This region experiences moderate climates with distinct winters that are drier than the summers. Otherwise, the temperatures are pretty reasonable, 70 to 80 degrees during the day, nighttime temperatures between 60 and 70, stuff that we can do at home pretty easily. In captivity, carpet chameleons live for about two to three years. It's not a long time, but they're a beautiful species and it's well worth the effort to enjoy them even for that brief period. We keep them in bioactive enclosures because they're easy to keep. Carpet chameleons love a densely planted terrarium with lots of foliage. We use living earth on the bottom substrate with a layer of leaf litters on top and plenty of isopods and springtails to clean up the poop. Summer temperatures should mimic the wild environment. 70 to 80 degrees during the daytime and 60 to 70 degrees at night. If you do cool them down lower during the winter, you can induce breeding come spring. Otherwise, you'll just end up with a perfectly healthy chameleon that won't necessarily be as interested in breeding. Nothing wrong with that. Day and nighttime humidities are pretty easy to maintain too. Daytime should be around 45 to 55%. This can be accomplished with a morning mist and afternoon mist. Nighttime humidity should be controlled using a fogger because the carpet chameleon needs a much higher humidity level at night in order to avoid losing moisture through its lungs when it breathes. We go with about 70 to 80% at night. If you go much higher than that, your terrarium will be pretty wet come morning. If you do choose to breed carpet chameleons, incubation is straightforward. You can incubate them continuously at about 72 to 75 degrees with a nighttime drop of 66 to 68 degrees. And with that method, they might take as long as nine months to incubate. If you want them to hatch sooner, we recommend a diapause. The diapause is a winter cool down for about 45 days within a month after the eggs are laid, down to about 62 to 66 degrees daytime and maybe 60 to 62 at night. When you do a diapause, expect your eggs to hatch around seven months. For feeding, we feed our carpet chameleons primarily crickets, which they seem to love. They can also eat small superworms, silkworms, mealworms, although mealworms don't have a ton of nutrition, and they really love flies. Blue bottle flies are easy to find and they make for a great snack, as well as provide them a lot of fun catching them. The typical carpet chameleon enclosure that we recommend is our Leap Habitat's 22 by 17 by 24 inch tall enclosure. However, if you have a lot of carpet chameleons, you may find that you want to squeeze them into a smaller space. I wouldn't go too small. 15 wide, 17 deep, and 24 tall seems to be okay. Don't forget, you're only keeping one chameleon per enclosure. Chameleons are very territorial. You can't put them with other animals. This enclosure should be densely planted with a lot of foliage. We like to use ficus. It's a wonderful tree. It grows extremely well. Use living earth as the substrate layer with a drainage layer beneath, just like we've discussed in our videos, and don't forget your leaf litter on top. The plants are planted directly in the substrate. We typically put them in the back corners to provide a lot of foliage and protection for the animal, and then line the terrarium with sticks. You want your carpet chameleons to have a lot of room to crawl around. Carpet chameleon babies are born pretty darn small, but they grow quickly. Believe it or not, a carpet chameleon can be fully sexually mature by six months of age. Female carpet chameleons look completely different than male carpet chameleons. First of all, you'll notice a difference at the base of the tail. The males have a much thicker tail base, which is very noticeable. The females, however, are the ones who display the beautiful carpet-like colors. They're actually named after Persian carpets because of the little circles and all the stripes running through their back. Female carpet chameleons will have colors that mix between red, yellow, lavender, even bright violet, as well as the base color of green. Male carpet chameleons typically only have green coloration. They'll shift between a dull brownish color and a bright green, and some will feature yellow, turquoise, and black markings. 
We hope you enjoyed watching our video about carpet chameleons as much as we did filming it. Don't forget to stay tuned to LEAP where we talk about carpet chameleons often and we'll be talking about more and more species soon. Thanks for watching.